Welcome to Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1, an open-world action investigation game set on a fictional island of Cordona in the late 19th century. You are Sherlock, a 21-year-old aspiring private eye who set foot to the Mediterranean shore to investigate the mystery of his mother's untimely death. So, you continue to pursue the imaginary. The right thing for everyone was to try and move on from her passing. Mycroft, what are you doing here? Get out of my house! As you pursue the truth about your mother, you will get a chance to explore Cordona and unearth its dirty secrets. Sherlock is a man of explosive character and brilliant mind, both of which will come in handy when dealing with the locals. But where the older Holmes could easily decipher his opponents, his younger self might get it wrong and make a complete fool of himself. So, a woman wishes to become a real criminal, and smuggling is a stepping stone towards that? I don't know where you're getting half of this nonsense, but you're on some thin ice here that I'm willing to crack. A stranger on the island, Sherlock will have to work extra hard to get information from the locals. The islanders are as proud as they are prejudiced, and many will refuse to speak to you because of your looks, your costume, or even your accent. What the hell? An Englishman here? Why are you wearing a dress? I understand your confusion. It's been a turbulent day, hasn't it? Do you have any idea who you're talking to, Brit? Thankfully, you've got a few tricks up your sleeve to cozy up to someone. For example, putting on the right disguise may trick people into thinking you're someone else. Harry, it's you! I don't suppose you remember me, do you? Um, can't say that I do. Oh, it's all right. I expected as much. You're a few sheets of the wind the night we... you know... The right disguise can go a long way, but you also need to select or pin the right evidence and approach someone who might actually know something about it. Do you know anything about this? Ah, I know this, yeah, let me help you. Use your observation skills to analyze the crowd, learn who they are, and adapt your tactics accordingly. Have you noticed anything different about Mrs. Capello recently? She's very particular about the paper we use. Not only one store on the island stocks it, and it's on the other side of the town, but I'm really fast. Interesting, thank you. In your mind, Palace, you can piece your clues together and identify the most probable culprit of the several suspects. Keep in mind, in Chapter 1, it's possible to misinterpret evidence and make the wrong choice. You knew about Niccolo and Augusta. You loved her, and the Detti and Capello conflict is well known. You had to protect your family's reputation. All this time, all this effort, and you get caught up in a fantasy, a shame. Still, a fine way to kill some time until my lawyer arrives from Italy. Depending on your moral values, truth and justice may not necessarily be the same thing. You might sympathize with the culprit and decide they do not deserve to be punished. I can't help but notice the window latch seems faulty. Perhaps I should leave you here alone and fetch someone. I'm afraid it may take me some time. Remember, even oh. if you make a wrong accusation, thank you. You will not see a game over screen. Failure is part of the experience. And we want to make your choice and live with the consequences. <laughs>